Hi, I'm Professor James Martin, and I'm a professor of practice here at Georgia State University and the Creative Media Industries Institute, or better known as the CMII. Together with Real Illusion, we worked out a new match movement system for use inside of iClone 8 and the new Motion Director system. The Motion Director system debuts gameplay controls to drive characters, add motion triggers, and dynamic characters to direct scenes in real time. We're able to do that by actually expanding beyond the walls here of our main Studio 101 and utilizing the OptiTrack motion capture system. With OptiTrack and the Capture Suite Motive, we were able to capture over a hundred new motions. It takes days of preparation and careful consideration in order to set up a large volume for motion capture. Georgia State University provides a variety of students and staff in order to facilitate large-scale captures such as this one for Real Illusion. We need a level of accuracy for a optical performance in order to make sure that when we actually get to laying out our dance cards that we are covering all of the space needed in order to capture each motion from any angle. Retro reflective markers are placed on each performer at very specific locations in order to track a performer in the space from any angle on the camera. Our performers are tracked from a T-pose at the beginning and then directed on stage in real time in order to perform each of the dance cards accordingly at a variety of speeds. Things like turns and pivots for dance cards are extremely important and that's why we use a combination of colored gaff tape so the performers can clearly know which line to run, jump, stop, and also start from. All these motions allow you to animate just like you're playing a game. Performers are directed to walk, jog, and run a specific set of dance card lines in order to create pivots and turns that are needed for a match movement system. Performers are also captured utilizing things like rotation that is then decreased quite a bit in order to pull that spiraling motion in. So when a player controller is later used inside of iClone, a player can pilot a character and have them pivot on a spot no matter which direction they're going. Runs, jogs, and walks were captured on each of our dance cards, utilizing the length of the room and the gym, allowing for our performer to get all the way up to speeds needed to create multiple different velocities from the beginning and end points. We're very proud of the motion set that was created here at Georgia State University in partnership with our sports arena and the Creative Media Industries Institute. Students, faculty, and other outside partners all came together to make this effort happen. And we are honored to be a part of the release of iClone 8 and the new Motion Director feature.